Evening everyone and welcome into this first T20 International. Guptal, who does like to strike big early. Flashing blade and they're underway. And a single will do it. Oh, LBW shout, big shout, and given! First ball! Still cross seam, just managed to shape it back in and missed it. Just missed it. Missed it onto his pads and what a start for Pakistan, what a start for Honor early. Bang. So three reds, no problem about that. Pick out. And away we go for the first one into the crowd here. Way, way into the stands. Full follow through, but what a shot. There's a big shout as well, there's another there to go! We've got another LBW! That's bowling at left-hander Sohilton Wheel. Lots of in-swing into the left-hander. They're coming back in, striking him in line. And Ahmad Shahab with his first decision. This is his debut, Ahmad Shahab, and he gets, gets it right. One of his favourite areas, a square slash, he's underway with a boundary. Taylor, he showed us in the test series, and he's off again. And guess what, Danny? Cutting. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's another one. Third one down. Won't do tonight. Bounce again, and he didn't know where it went. And as he walked off, he's still sort of bemused by so much bounce. He's lost it in the middle and sort of... On the charge! Glove on the grill. Certainly a bit of grill work for Anderson. Probably not the best option against Irfan, who's getting that bounce and he's nowhere near that. He's, he's actually hit his glove before he knew it. Back in the box. Beautiful stuff. Fine leg up. Went for the York and missed it. Ross Taylor was the last man dismissed. Couldn't handle the steep bounce of it. Fine. Down the track, he muscles it. Yeah, Rami, as you called it, he wasn't quite to the pitch of the ball, was he? But he muscled it over mid-wicket. Of course, only the two men out. Starts with a half tracker that is punished. Very much a loosener, wasn't it? And all Guptill had to do was make sure he found the gap, and he did it very well. Yeah, to wait and then adjust it, Guptill. It's a biggie that's gone. First six of the evening. In fact, it's the second one. Corey Anderson. That keeps his head down. Beautiful swing. Oh, oh bowl him. It's a straight away, and he's cussing him. As well in the test squad without playing as we have a look just good straight on Guptill played outside it so much for the plan of him batting through to the 20th over brilliant from Mafridi and Raza Hassan back into the attack oh that's a monster goodness me that has gone miles back such a strong land on down on that one knee and look at that sail away that's massive Oh, that's a cracking shot from Ronke. Got down low to it. Back leg on the ground and he's nailed that past extra cover and it's raced away. What a shot to get off the mark off. Got so low onto it. Beautiful shot. Oh, he smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Real crowd killer, that one. It's a flat six. You can have as many deep midwickets back. If you can hit it that good, it's just gone flat. He's because when he gets that full swing away, so much power, just gone completely flat. And, and again, goodness me. Again, not learning short, and he, no matter how many fielders you have back, it's gone again very, very flat. It's a cracking shot over extra cover again. That brings up the 100. Ronke goes over mid-on, mid-on is up in the circle and just pitches 
and ends up short of the boundary. A couple of runs, but Ronke showing his intent. Deep cover, third man, and deep square leg on the fence. And again through extra cover, Ronke. And again he gets four. That's his area, he loves that extra cover area and he's been hitting it right in the middle this time. Just going to that leg side a little bit, opening his body up and he's crashed that through extra cover. On the up, that's a very difficult shot to play against Irfan but he's nailed it. And he's doing a fine job with Anderson who's got big, has he? And... Oh, it's taken! What a catch, judged to perfection. Because of the boundary rope looming, and he was looking for his half century, was big Corey Anderson. He falls too short. He's got terrific temperament, Raza Hassan. This really was club, but not of the middle of the bat. And very good catch. Slow, and he's got a cue ender, and that'll race away. The big guy can get nowhere near it. Down the track. Enough on it. Oh, great work with the palms. Save six. Brilliant. Doing a fabulous job. This probably was the highlight of the of the fielding effort. He took a stunner in the last uh, over, but this was really well done. Straight up. Who wants it? Long off. Akmal. Too easy. Jimmy Neesham couldn't get it over the rope. The sixth one down now. And it is the big left-hander who's got to go. Caught by Uma Akmal off Muhammad Afan for just six. This wasn't time. Neesham looking for a glory shot, glory hit over the rope. Found Umar Akmal who took a good one. He adjusted well, minding the fence. High ball under lights can be a little tricky. So well judged. Gone, he's knocked him over. Perfect delivery, full and closing down the angle is Sahail Tanvir. Well, if you've not played him before, it can be difficult to decipher because he's, he's got a different action. Yeah, angling it in. Ronke trying to work it away through square leg, missed it. Perfectly delivered, the length was good. Just followed him in from that angle. He is done well, just four runs from the over. Let's take a French cut. Take one and be happy. That's pretty much the average first inning score. 136 is the first innings average here. That's 135 for seven from 20. Pakistan require 136 for victory. Third man and deep backward square leg, the man outside the circle. It's a good start, good quick single. Cracking shot from Oizir, and that's an indication of what a good surface it is. This is a great shot, not a half volley, just at the top of the bounce. The despairing dive from McCullum, I think it was, at cover. That's a beautiful shot. Easily crests it for four. Just over backward point. That'll be four. A little bit of width and Safra's fed on it. As I was saying before, he has the ability to bowl the odd short and wide delivery. Pretty close to the fieldsman, but in the end, all he had to do, Safra's, was make sure he got enough of it, and he did. He's picked the right man out, Tom Latham. That wasn't where it was meant to go, as far as uh, OAC is concerned. He'll get four for it. For around 90 miles an hour. He's trying to play the pull shot. It's got on him too quickly. But in the end, he got enough of it. And with Midoff relatively close, he's back on the circle. I fancy he would have been in business for a catch, but he's in saving one, so... Good shot. Clubbed over Midoff. Well, that's a beautiful response, isn't it? Just clears that front leg. And with only the two men out, deep square and third man. Tiger from Safraz. And there's that sweep shot we were talking about previously. And it's gone all the way for six. Not 
only down on one knee, but he's also a metre down the crease. And when the bowler's bowling 140 k's, it takes quite some bravery. That is sensational, that. Not even close, well over the boundary. Wrist work, that's a boundary. Picks the gap beautifully to Safras. And there's a big gap at midweek and just rolls that wrist on them. He's got the full range, you can sweep and do that as well. So you've got to somehow get that feel right on the leg side. Bit of width on offer, that'll race away for four to end the power play here. For the men in green. Death, death, death. Hustling for the quick one. Ah! And had to, here we go upstairs. Yes, has to ask for it. Oh, looks very close. It's... Oh, that's umpire's leg covering it, but... Yeah, I think this is the best angle. Not completely side on. And there it is. Bingo, we've got the decision. Great pick up. Go! On the charge. And into the gap. And four more to Safras. But he's actually hit it over mid-wicket. The short mid-wicket ensuring that it goes into the gap. He's just so impressive with his placement when he comes down the wicket. Four all the way. Ah. Uh. Oh, that is quick. And that is a very good delivery. Oh, it's out! Another run out, I reckon. Mr. Raza, give us the signal. Ronke with the pickup. And bingo, yeah, got him. And the presence of mine to take the glove off. Oh, he's not even in the frame. O U T. Hits it hard, gets it past the man at cover. This is beautifully timed. So Fraz is having the time of his life. With the bat, that is. Well, the loss of his mate Hafiz hasn't meant that he's going to rein himself in. Very aggressive. Once it got past the infield, though, very quick as well, the outfield. Ross Taylor at deep cover had no chance. Will he go again? This time it's a shot ball. It's a tennis shot. Great forehand. Gets it to the fence once again. Sitting on that short ball, the New Zealanders of all the fast bowlers have gone short. All he had to do again was beat Kane Williamson. Beautiful shot. Now you see it quite often. It's a big one, it's flat, it's a skimmer. Makes it all the way over the rope. And 50 for Safras. Well, what a shot this is to bring up your maiden T20 International 50. He's really enjoyed that mid-wicket region. Only just makes it, but that's all he needs. And he celebrates like he's got 100. Slip is in place as well, which is good captaincy. Mose it over mid-wicket, that's a good shot. What a way to begin your innings. Back of a length again. And those leg side fielders are in tight. They're trying to save the one, keep Safraz off strike. But in the end, he played a great shot. Bit of a baseball shot. There's no one out there. Runs away easily for four. Establish your footings. That's uh, a sweep shot. He likes playing that shot. He wants the second. He's aimlessly running. His partner was not moving. And, well, now they probably will take that extra run. Gone. Caught at mid-wicket. Good catch. Sharp catch. Nathan McCullum. Harris Sahel, there's no man out at deep and wicket. He was looking to access that boundary. Just hit the inside half of the bat and it twisted in his hands. In the end, pretty comfortable, you would have to say, to Nathan McCullum and disappointment. Well, he's not finding his feet now. He's finding the boundary. It's pace, it's up there. It's, yeah, with long half volley. He ain't going to miss out on that. Sweet. And then the pickup through mid wicket. Pretty to watch, and it's livened up this crowd a bit more. Glanced fine, and with fine leg up in the circle, that'll be four more. 
14 off the over, and is that the over that has given Pakistan one hand on the victory? Four, 114 for three. Clubbed away by Safraz. He's scampering back for two. Really is incredible, isn't it, Danny? The change of personnel. But with mid on up in the circle. A little bit of flight. Clears that front hip again, which he's done so many times in all three formats. That's the highest score now in 2020 history for a Pakistan wicketkeeper. The previous mark was 73 by Cameron Akmal against Bangladesh. What a way to finish. Magnificent. Umar Akmal punches the air. 27 not out for him from just 14 deliveries. Akmal, little punch, hardly anything. No follow through, no extension, but he liked it for the camera. Did Umar. And a punch of delight. And a hug from his partner. Hold the pose and secure the win. Man of the match, cash award of $1,000 and a memento to Safraz Ahmed, who's, who's batting brilliantly. Mr. Ayub Afridi, to please give away the award.